Okay, now this this part of the tutorial assumes that you've already done the first part I did. So now we're just checking what driver you have. You gotta make sure you have 4.22.104. If you don't have that, then then you're doing something wrong. Okay, assuming you have that, now go to start my computer. And then go to C Arrow Wizard and double click the Arrow Wizard EXE icon. You ignore everything else. Okay, now Arrow Wizard's loaded. Now you go to Adapter List and Refresh. This will show the list of adapters, and hopefully the one that we just installed will appear here. Otherwise, we can't use it. There it is. See how it says COM view right there in brackets? So we go to Monitor Mode, Debug Mode, Channel 1, it doesn't matter the channel, and Start. Does this look like your adapter? Yes. Yes, it does. Just click Y and enter. Okay, now we just start Aerodump. Now we see two networks, Isaac and Shape. We want to pay attention to Isaac because that's the network we want to crack. Press Control C means we found it. Control C will just stop it. Okay, now notice it's on channel 6. So now we close that. Now we go back to AirServe and go to channel 6 instead. You want to make sure it's on the same channel as the network. Otherwise, you won't be able to continue. Yes. Okay, now we also note the BSS ID and the ESS ID. Access point name, we type in the ESS ID. Isaac. Capital I-S-A-A-C. Channel 6, once again. And the access point max, 00, zero colon 14, colon 6C, colon 44, colon 76. 45 that appears under the BSS ID. And remember your dump file name, which is Isaac, and do not write IVS only. Now close out the other one, and now here's your error dump. Now go to authentication, now advanced, and apply, and authenticate. Now it should say association successful. This means you can continue. Then click Fragmentation. It should wait for a data packet. This can sometimes take a while. Click, always press Y. It always works. So I'm going to press Y, Enter. Now this is this is an example of a of a time it, it tries, where it it keeps retrying to get the XOR stream which is what we need. Usually it'll just do it instantly. I just showed this example to show you that it will eventually get it. So we just wait and wait and wait. And now finally it got it. Saving key stream and fragment blah blah blah, blah dot XOR. That's good. We want to note the number 020205 now we, now we click the next one and click Fragment on that, under the Create Packet tab. Double click that. Now we want to name our art packet, so I'll just name it Isaac. Okay. Now we can close that and close that. Now I click Inject. Now look at the Isaac packet I just made. Double click on it. It'll ask me, always press Y. You never, never press N. So always press Y, enter. Now we've just begun injecting. You should notice very soon that the number of data packets in Aero Dump, this thing over here, will start rising very quickly. So you want to just go back and just reset it to make sure it doesn't freeze. Sometimes it freezes. Now I'll just wait a little bit. Hmm. 
soon it should start injecting. It should have started injecting already. Oh, there it goes. I noticed the data packets rise really quickly. Now I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna pause it soon and come back in another minute, and you'll see really how quickly it'll go. It it'll get about five thousand packets a minute, so it'll take around like ten or eleven minutes initially to capture these, which is actually pretty fast. When I unpause the screen recording software, it goes a lot faster. I pause it. Oh, but now we're backing in at two minutes and see the number of data packets has risen up. Now elapsed time is still is two minutes. You can see up there in the corner. The data packets are eleven thousand already. Now we notice the elapsed time has been around been about nine minutes now, and I have forty eight thousand data packets. And it's still rising. Now the elapsed time is ten minutes. We're gonna wait till we get maybe I'm going to say 50,000 data packets, although I could have cracked it already now, probably. The chance, when you have 40,000 packets, there's about a 80% 80, 80 chance, 75% chance that it'll crack it. When you have about 50, it's like 80, 50,000, it's about like 85% chance. Maybe even higher, maybe even like a 95% chance, or 90. So... My data packets are right now at 49,400, 500, and you see the elapsed time is 10 minutes, so in fact it will take a little longer, maybe 11 minutes at most, which is pretty fast to crack a network, considering if you do this really speedily, you can probably do the whole thing in about 12 minutes. 49,900... And then fifth, once you get to fifth, once you get the desired amount, you just press Control C, and then this will come up, and the data packets stop. Once you've done that, you can just close out of everything. Close, except Arrow Wizard. Leave Arrow Wizard open. Close. And I'll go to Web Crack slash Recovery, and browse for the file. Go into Dumps. That's where you saved it, and highlight all three of the capture files. It tends to split them. I don't know why. And do not click Disable PTW, that is the key to cracking it. And click Start, and it should find it almost instantly. Oh, there it goes, it already found it. Key found. FFFFFFFFFF. Decrypted correctly 100%. Now I'm going to show you how to, what it would do if you disabled PTW. I'm going to start it. And here it goes, Keep, keeps trying to brute force keys, and it could take a really long time on this. So yeah, remember, now here it is with PTW again, and whoop, it's already found it. So yeah, here you go, you've just learned to crack key. Now let's actually try the key out. Kill all running, okay. Now we double click. Choose a wireless network. No networks in range, we just have to wait a little bit. Now we will try to refresh it again. So there we go, we have those three annoying networks, but now we can connect to Isaac. So double click it, detect the network type. And now we can type in the network key. Now let's see if it works. Require network address. Connected. Well, congratulations, you just connected to it. And now let's give it a test. It works. So congratulations, you've just cracked a wet network. I'm Isaac Flom. Thanks for playing.